Our talk radio show. And they tell us, Dave, I make $62,000 a year. But Dave, I've been busting it. I've been killing it. I mean, I, I've done everything you said to do. It's been hard. But man, I'm dead free! I've been studying this for a couple of decades now while I've been doing it and teaching it both. And literally millions and millions of families have tried these ideas. So I'm starting to see trends because there's so, the numbers are so big now. I'm seeing things that are in common, common characteristics across these groups of people. And one of the things I kept hearing on the radio show and when I would meet people in person, they had this thing in their voice. The ones that were going to make it, the ones that weren't going to be a goat, the ones that were going past the bare spot, that were going over the top, that were going to make it, they were going to get out of debt. They had this thing. It's like an attitude. It's like, all right, what do I got to do? This is it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And then I'd have other ones that would call in and go, Whoa, dude, this is kind of like entertaining, sort of, kind of. How would you maybe do this, sort of, kind of? What's your strategy? And I'm going, you're not going to make it. Well, why, man? You got to, I don't know, you got to go get mad or something. These other people got something going on that you, you know, we got to hit you or something to get you, get you a little upset. You know what I'm saying? You got to get, got to get fired up about this somehow. And, 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 and I've been studying it. Now I was, I was reading through Proverbs. You know, there's 31 Proverbs. And so if you read one proverb a day, it's, it's a good one a day. If you don't do anything else, that's a good one. And even if you're not a Christian, it's okay. Just read one a day. I mean, because if you read it over and over and over again, eventually you get a master's degree in finance. It's in Proverbs. Okay? <laughs> and, and, and really, it is. And, and, and so I'm reading along, and, and I've read through them several times, and I hit this one one morning. It was kind of interesting. It, it said, it was Proverbs 6, 1 through 7. It said, if you've signed surety, my son, do this. Now, I had a spiritual awakening several years ago. I had a real spiritual revival I had a spiritual discovery. I figured out God is smarter than me. <laughs> and so when I'm reading along and it says, if you're doing this and you don't want to be, do this. I go, uh-huh, okay, this is important. Write this one down. So if you're in debt, surety is an old English Bible term for gone into debt. Okay? If you've signed surety, my son, if you've got yourself in debt, do this. I'm like, okay, there it is. There's, there's, something, there's a big deal here. Give no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids, and deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter and a bird from the hand of the fowler. And I went, gazelles? Birds? Why am I using that? I don't understand. I don't get it. It's a nice little animal metaphor, but, I mean, we'll talk about it in Sunday school class, but, I mean, if you're in debt, what's a gazelle got to do with it? And that was honestly my reaction. Some of you don't pray that way, but that was my reaction. And, and, and the truth is, that night I was scanning the channels, I was channel flipping, and I hit the Discovery Channel. And, and on the Discovery Channel were the gazelles. They were out there gazelling around. And I thought to myself, if you're in debt, deliver yourself like the gazelle from the hand of the hunter, the bird from the hand of the fowler. This is how you get out of debt. And I'm watching there a minute, and you know, you know if it's the Discovery Channel, that the gazelles aren't there by themselves. I mean, you know somebody else is around, right? I mean, Mr. Cheetah is there looking for lunch. And the gazelles, you know, they have a little cheetah detector right behind their ear, and they see the cheetah, they go, uh-oh, cheetah! Run! And I'm thinking, whoa, this is how you get out of debt. It's like life or death. you got to bust it, man. you got to run like you're on fire. The way you get out of debt is you go, 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 go. You're getting ready to be a gazelle burger. This is how you get out of debt. And, and, you know, I'm watching this thing unfold, and I'm thinking, man, this guy's fast. And the Discovery Channel came on and said, you know, the, gazelle, the cheetah is the fastest mammal on dry land. This bad boy can go from zero to 47 miles an hour in four leaps. The fastest animal on dirt. And he's trying to eat the gazelle. This is how you get out of that. You run! And look what he did. He picked out, he picked out the little one. He got him a college student. Hey!
into debt, but you can't wander out. You gotta bust it. You gotta get it in gear. You go into the football stadium and you're going crazy for your football team. Hey, here's an idea. Put that kind of passion and enthusiasm into your family, into your destiny, into where you're supposed to be financially. Go get rid of some stuff. Get your life back. Here's the technique. It's called gazelle intensity. You gotta go for it. You gotta get wired up and fired up. You gotta kick it in gear like never before. This is how you get out of debt. I don't care if you've got a master's degree in psychology. You gotta kick it, baby. That's how it's done. I don't care if you don't have a degree in anything. You gotta kick it, baby. That's how it's done. There are no other options. You can wander into debt in our culture. They will help you. They will draw you in. They will lure you in. They will tackle you. They will tie you. But you gotta to get out, you gotta be focused, busting it, kicking it. And if your broke friends are making fun of you, you're right on track.